Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about triceps training. We're going to dissect some common misconceptions and explore how exercise mechanics can impact muscle development, specifically focusing on a recent study comparing two popular triceps exercises. We'll cover a detailed breakdown of the study and its findings, the critical role of biomechanics and exercise physics that the researchers overlooked, how understanding the resistance curve and strength curve can optimize your triceps training, and practical tips on choosing the best triceps exercise for maximum growth. By the end of this video, you will have a deeper understanding of how to target your triceps more effectively and avoid some of the common pitfalls of resistance training. Let's get started. All right, let's jump into the study. It compared the overhead cable tricep extension to the standard cable tricep pushdown. Participants did one exercise with their left arm and the other with their right arm for 12 weeks. The researchers concluded that the overhead version produced more triceps growth and this conclusion was quickly picked up by many fitness experts and trainers leading to widespread recommendations. But here's the thing, they missed something crucial. While the researchers focused on the arm position relative to the shoulder joint, they overlooked the mechanics outside the body, like the resistance curve. This led to a major misunderstanding of why the overhead triceps extension seemed to be more effective. The researchers did not compare two exercises with equal resistance curve. They thought the only difference between the two exercises was the position of the humerus and shoulder joint. In fact, they compared two exercises with drastically different resistance curves and different shoulder position. The more significant differences was that the overhead version was early phase loaded and the neutral arm version was mid phase loaded. This explains why the two uniarticulate heads, which are the lateral and the medial head of the triceps improved more with the overhead version even though these two heads do not cross the shoulder joint and do not change the function based on the arm shoulder position. It may also explain why the long head developed better especially if the degree of the elbow bent in the early phase was not measured to ensure it was the same as the neutral arm version. The problem is that many studies focus solely on the changes inside the body and ignore the external mechanical factors like the direction of resistance, which greatly affect the outcome. One important thing to keep in mind when looking at exercise research, like the study we mentioned, is that it's very difficult to draw precise conclusion. This is because no two people are exactly the same. Factors like the person's level, genetics, lifestyle, stress levels, and muscle fiber types all vary from one person to another. For example, while we all have the same muscles, the composition of those muscles can be different. In some people, a particular muscle may have a higher percentage of fast twitch fibers, while in others, the same muscle might have more slow twitch fibers. These differences can affect how people respond to exercise. So even when participants follow the same workout routine for weeks, their results can vary widely due to these individual factors. This is where biomechanics comes in. By analyzing biomechanics, we can evaluate the efficiency of an exercise, allowing us to make better, more effective exercise selection that cater to our unique body mechanics and muscle composition. In this demonstration, you can see the differences in resistance curves. The overhead version challenges the triceps in the early phase when the muscle is strongest, while the neutral arm version is mid-phase loaded, which creates a different level of resistance at each point of the movement. Understanding these differences is crucial for making the right exercise selection. Now let's talk about biomechanics. The triceps have three heads. Each head has a unique origin point, but all of them share the same tendon at the elbow. When we talk about an exercise being effective, we need to consider the resistance curve, the point in the range of motion where the muscle is most challenged. Ideally, we want this to happen during the early phase when the muscle is elongated and strongest. Most people think the overhead position automatically gives you this advantage, but that's not always true. If your elbows aren't fully bent, you're not maximizing the stretch on the long head of the triceps. This is why proper form and understanding the mechanics are so important. Let's break down the concept of resistance curve. The goal is to align the direction of resistance with the strength curve of the muscle. For triceps, this means ensuring that the resistance is perpendicular to your forearm when the elbow is most bent. In the study, the standard cable pushdown was almost parallel to the forearm in the early phase providing minimal resistance when the triceps are strongest. In contrast, the overhead cable extension with proper form can offer a more perpendicular force, making it more effective. But the key is maintaining that elbow bent. 
See how this slight adjustment changes the resistance at the start of the movement? This is what we teach in our resistance training specialist course. It helps you get the most out of every exercise. Now that we understand the theory, let's see how it applies to real world training. The claim that overhead triceps exercises are more productive than neutral arm triceps exercises fails to account for the critical difference in resistance curves between the two exercises. For instance, one of the most compromised exercises in terms of resistance curve is the dumbbell triceps kickback. It provides little resistance in the early phase when the triceps are strongest and maximum resistance in the late phase when the triceps are weakest. A cable pushdown provides a more consistent resistance curve, but it's still mid-phase loaded. This demonstrates that the key factor is not torso positioning, but the resistance curve of the exercise itself. The triceps sense resistance based on the load phase, whether early, mid or late, not on torso alignment. An ideal exercise with a neutral arm position like a modified cable pushdown provides early phase loading while maximizing elbow flexion at the start of the motion. This promotes triceps elongation without the discomfort of the overhead triceps exercise. In our courses, the physics of fitness and the resistance training specialist, we explain the biomechanical criteria that make exercises like the dumbbell triceps extension more effective than traditional overhead exercises. These exercises allow for maximum triceps activation without needing to extend the arm overhead, which often leads to discomfort and suboptimal muscle stimulation. Finally, the long head of the tricep crosses the shoulder joint, not to assist in overhead movements, but to aid in humeral adduction, much like how the rectus femoris assists in hip flexion. Thus, just as full hip extension is isn't necessary for quadricep development, full shoulder extension isn't essential for triceps development. Remember the best exercise is the one that matches your muscle strength curve with the right resistance curve. Don't just follow trends, understand the mechanics behind each movement. To wrap it up, comparing overhead cable triceps extension and cable pushdowns had some flaws in the conclusions due to the misunderstanding of exercise mechanics. By focusing on the resistance curve and early phase loading, you can select exercises that truly optimize your triceps growth. If you want to learn more about how to apply these principles to your workouts, check out our online courses at smarttraining365.com where we go in depth on biomechanics and exercise selection. It's the key to unlocking your full potential in the gym. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share it with your training buddies, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and as always, keep training smart and stay strong.